guys, I haven't always been a big fan of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I recently just got into the TV show, maybe during the ninth season. Um, I know this is the 11th season that everybody is talking about, but I just wanted to talk about Miss Nene Leakes. Nene, during this season, she was very bitter and very mad at everyone but herself, and she just hasn't been a good friend to any of the ladies, not even Marlo, really. And so it just makes me wonder, like, why do they keep Nene around for the show? She must be the money maker in the show. I know I've seen a article saying something about she made at least two point four million or something like that each episode. But anyways, you guys, um, I did watch all three um, episodes of the reunion. And so on the third episode of the reunion, um, they talked about, well, Portia talked about how Nene was very aggressive during the episode in which she told Candy and Portia to not go in her closet and said, we did see on the camera that she did rip the cameraman's shirt, but we had no idea that it really went down like it went down. And so this article basically says that Atlanta Housewives Nene pays cameraman 200k for knocking out his tooth, which Portia did say that she did knock the man's tooth out. But when Portia said that, Nene and Eva and a lot more people were just shaking their head like it didn't happen. Even Marlo said it, but of course Marlo would say that it didn't happen. Her and Nene are very cool on the show. But anyways, the article says Nene Leakes was forced to pay the Bravo cameraman that she assaulted in her closet 200k. MT, MTO News has learned Nene was suspended for one episode from the Atlanta Housewives and had to forfeit her 200k in episode salary to her victim. Okay, so it wasn't 2.4 million. She's making 200k an episode. Nene currently makes $5 million per season on Bravo's high, highest rated show. During last season of Bravo's Atlanta Housewives, Nene Leakes got into a physical altercation with one of the cameramen. Nene attacked the man and ripped his shirt, but the Bravo employee had suffered more substantial injuries. He lost one of his teeth, and Nene had to pay the producer for it. On last night's Atlanta Housewives reunion, Nene explained what happened with the crew member during the fight. She said, I didn't hit him. I pulled his t-shirt and, and it was a t-shirt and it tore, Nene explained. Well, him, but the other guy got choked up, scratched up, went to the hospital, said Portia. Did he go to the hospital, Nene said, pretending like she didn't know. I didn't hear nothing about that. Portia had even more information. He absolutely did and absolutely had scratches on his back, choked up and head drunk against the wall. Candy Burris confirmed that story saying his tooth did get knocked out. I heard his tooth was cracked, Nene said, but nonetheless, it didn't give me the right to touch him. Okay, so what do you guys think about Miss Nene Leakes and how aggressive she had gotten with the cameraman? I just feel that it wasn't that big of a deal for Nene to go berserk like she went berserk on the cameraman. She also supposedly pushed Portia and then as she was pushing Portia she grabbed Portia's belt from around her waist and so no one on the reunion really wanted to get into that and on the reunion you can kind of see where Portia is just looking like okay so you guys aren't going to have my back when you guys clearly saw that she snapped my belt off but anyways um, I did want to get into Miss Shamari from the Atlanta Housewives as well. Um, Marlo supposedly confirmed that Shamari lost her peach, which you guys know Marlo never liked Shamari from the beginning. I think she felt threatened by, by Shamari, but um, this is what they had to say. Producers at Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta have demoted Shamari DeVoe. She lost her peach and will be a friend to the show next season. And yesterday, fellow castmate Marlo Hampton confirmed the news. MTO News first broke the story that producers were considering demoting Shamari from full-time housewife to a part-time friend role. According to our sources, Shamari was not interesting enough for the show producers. 
While Marlo just confirmed our reporting, she and Shamari have been fighting all season, and Marlo happily spilled the spilled the behind the scenes tea last night. Here's Marlo confirming what we've been saying for weeks. Listen closely as Marlo calls Shamari peachless. Hey, let me tell you this. First of all, Shamari, hey! Show the lead. <laughs> What's with Shamari the bitch? Show the lead. Shamari, come on now, you peachless. You really still up here tweeting tonight? Peachless Shamari still tweeting. But hey, girl, stay up there and I just be up there now, okay? Be sweet now, since you're peachless now. <gasps> Ooh, they'll give you a peach and snatch you right back. So that is what Miss Marlon Hampton had to say about Shamari DeVoe. Reports are also saying that in order for Kenya to snag her full-time spot on Real Housewives of Atlanta again, Shamari DeVoe had to be demoted. Although earlier reports stated that Kenya was on the outs with the producers, Cynthia Bailey and Candy Burris' plan worked. The audience responded so well to Miss Daly's surprise appearance, Bravo just had to get her back. Straight from the A, the blog that broke the news that Kenya got the boot in the first place exclusively reports, I was told by several sources that Cynthia hoped to shoot a few scenes with Kenya and baby Brooklyn last season, but production said no. Her final option was to include Kenya on the guest list for her peach Bellini party, which just so happened to be the season's finale. Cynthia and Candy's plan worked as Kenya's present was a defining moment, but not only revealed their interactive plan, but sparked a huge blowout between Bailey and her former BFF Nene Leap. It's been said that Shamari was offered the role of a friend, but hasn't accepted yet because her husband, Ronnie DeVoe, sees it as an insult. DeVoe was recently seen hanging out the Wii at the Wii TV headquarters along with Major Parks. Shamari is married to New Edition star Ronnie DeVoe. The pair discussed having an open marriage last season on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Marlo Hampton is believed to be the leading candidate to take Shamari's peach. She's been a friend to the Bravo hit show for several years now. In my opinion, Shamari DeVoe, she was interesting because it was something different. And um, I did used to listen to their group Black all the time back in the day when I was younger. And so I was very excited to see her on the show. But she was drinking a lot. But that's expected, you know, because she just wanted to let her hair down. She did not take everything as serious as all the other girls when it came to certain topics and Marlo did always come for Shamari and you know I think she was just threatened by Shamari and how could she say that Shamari lost her peach when Marlo doesn't even have a peach either like you said you've been on the show for seven years and nobody has still wiped you up so that you can get a peach, you know? But, um, I did like Shamari. I did like Tanya. She was a little bit weird to me, but I did like her. And I did like Eva, but a lot of the things that Eva was saying, um, was a little bit weird as far as, you know, her situation with her money and everything. But, I mean, whose business is it? Because, you know... Maybe Marlo probably doesn't have a lot of money as well either. That's probably why she's on the show in the first place. But that's all I have to say about The Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you guys do have any questions for me, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you guys have any more things you did want to add to what I said, please leave a comment. And don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more royalty. If you guys enjoy my videos and want to help the channel grow, you can cash out me at Princess Chun-Li. Thank you guys for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe.